I started coaching people on how to overcome a rut like I did one year ago to start my business. In this video, I'll teach you how to overcome a rut, but instead of doing it in three months like myself, I'll teach you how to do it in three days. There is a five-step blueprint which I created for my clients, but you can use this too to overcome procrastination and start changing your life once and for all. So when I started trying to figure out why I procrastinated, I was very confused and I had no idea where to start. So I was stuck in this rut and I couldn't get out of it. Eventually, what happened though, is I started uh, thinking, reading books, and I figured out uh, something really quickly. The problem is not procrastination. You know, the, the problem is something else and that causes the procrastination. The procrastination is just a symptom. So I figured out that my problem was uh, I had negative emotions associated with just my work so because I was afraid of my work I ended up overwhelming myself and procrastinating and eventually because I realized that I fixed my relationship with work and that's when I started being a little bit more consistent like a, li a little bit more consistent with my habits in general so my advice for the first step of this problem is to try to just identify the core problem and the core problem is not procrastination. There is a reason you procrastinate. What is that reason? Find that reason. And that's the first step. The reason is always one of two things. You either burned out, so you're trying too much, you're trying to achieve too much, and this burns you out, it makes you feel overwhelmed, and you end up procrastinating when you're burned out. Or the other reason is some type of negative emotion that just overwhelms you and makes you not wanna do your work. That's the first step, identify the core problem. The second step is basically, I was very confused. And by the way, everything I'm telling you about my story, step by step, happened over months. You can do it immediately in three days if you actually let me coach you and let me help you for free, or if you follow the steps in this video. But the second problem was that I was very confused. So I managed to maybe fix a little bit of my negative emotions, but now I was very confused on what to do with my life. I lacked organization. So every day I would wake up and I would end up doing nothing like literally wasting my time because when you don't have organization you always resort to the easiest thing so that's when i realized that okay i need to set a clear goal i need to do something and i need to know what that is so the second step i did to get to my dream situation is i set a clear goal and i started pursuing it so my advice here for you for the second step is make sure that you actually have a goal and you can have a big goal, a big plan for your life, and that's great, and that's a vision, and that's a purpose, and that's beautiful. But you also need to have a small goal. Something you actually genuinely believe you can achieve. Don't overwhelm yourself by setting these big goals because you just end up procrastinating. Set a small goal right now which you genuinely believe you can actually achieve. What is your goal? And not, don't, not only set it, but actually write it down. Don't, don't be that type of person who sets his goal in quotations but then doesn't even remember it okay write the goal down that's the second step and then what i started doing i tried to do everything to achieve that goal i created these ambitious routines ambitious schedules and what ended up happening i end up planning the whole day waking up the next day doing none of it doing literally none of it so i kept procrastinating so the third step the third thing i implemented is I started creating a re more realistic schedule for myself and I realized that, you know, if I feel demotivated right now, I don't feel right, I need to just take some action because I'm never going to randomly get motivated. Motivation comes after action. You first have to act. The action that you've done, the progress you've made, motivates you to do more. So it's like a snowball effect. But I can't start from an avalanche. I can't start from uh, having everything put together. I need to take some small action right now. So when I did that, when I designed a more realistic schedule, I reached a point where I could be consistent with my habits. So the final step, or not the final step, the third step, the third advice I can give you is instead of creating these super ambitious routines of working out two hours a day and studying for six hours and um, working on your, uh, doing 50 cold calls and uh, working on your freelance project, instead of doing that crazy thing, set small habits which you can stay consistent every single day. Even if you don't feel like it, you, t you can tell yourself, you know what, I can do it. Even if I don't feel like it, I can do it. 
So that's step three. Set small habits. And only when you get consistent, you can increase them. And now let's talk about step four. This is the mistake I did. So I followed my routine every day. I started being consistent. But I had no rewards for it. You know, because external rewards, success, doesn't come immediately. So I had no rewards. And this basically made me extremely demotivated. That like the new life I had of doing the productive habits, it was, I wasn't happy. I was demotivated. And I fell back in my rut once again. So that's when I realized, hey, what if I stop waiting for the external rewards? What if I start giving myself rewards? What if I start resting more? You know, it might sound counterintuitive, but if you rest more, if you give yourself actual rewards for being productive, so you're not trying to be productive every day, all day, you give yourself some type of rewards, you're much more likely to stick with it. So that's the fourth step you can do. Once you have completely and clearly identified um, you know the habits and you start being consistent actually give yourself some type of reward and by reward I don't mean the dopamine habits not video games not maybe you can do you know video games as long as you don't lose self-control just the habits that make you lose self-control do not do those so if you play video games you don't have a problem with the video games that's not how you procrastinate okay that can be a reward but otherwise don't make it a reward the reward should be something healthy so going on a walk speak to somebody you love doing something fun reading a book just something healthy that actually you enjoy but it's healthy it's not a dopamine habit which makes you addicted you can listen to music you can do a new hobby you can paint you can do a new sport do something that allows you to rest and the best way to rest is people okay so having people in your life and that's the fourth step actually reward yourself at the end of each day in small ways for being productive that will give a positive feedback loop to your brain and the fifth step is that i got impatient i you know was consistent with the small habits but i got impatient and I started again overwhelming myself and saying to myself, you know what, I'm consistent now. Instead of doing two hours of work, now I'm gonna do six hours of work. And that increase overwhelmed me, I fell back in my rut. So what I realized is that once you establish the consistent habits, even if they're small, you have to progressively overload. If you don't wanna stagnate, but if you don't wanna overwhelm yourself, you have to overload with something small. So whatever habits you do, Establish them for the next week. Establish the same habits. Make sure you can actually follow them. Don't go too ambitious, okay? This is just the beginning. This is how you get out of the rut, by doing something small. So don't go too ambitious. Establish habits you can hold, and then just gradually build them up. And I can tell you right now, I'm at a point in which I have built my habits to be working 14 hours a day. So today I'm gonna put in around 14 hours of work. I'm gonna, I've already done work my coaching, I'm gonna, you know, work on this video, create this video. I'm gonna create more content maybe, or if not, I'm gonna start doing outreach. But I'm gonna do a lot of work today, that's my point. But it didn't used to be that way before. I built up to this point, okay? I built up from two hours all the way to now. And you don't have to work this much ever. I'm just telling you that um, you can actually do it, but only if you progressively overload. You can't jump to a level 100. You can't walk in the gym and start bench pressing 115 kilos. You have to first bench press the empty bar and have your hands shake a little bit. You have to learn. So if you want to overcome your procrastination, if you want me to personally coach you completely for free, how to overcome your procrastination in the next three days and actually start being productive and start pursuing and achieving your goals, you can join the community and you'll find there in the classroom a free call. And then you can book a call with me and I'll help you completely for free to overcome your procrastination. We'll follow a three-step framework. First, I'll give you this blueprint in detail. Second, I will give you motivation and support. And third, I'll give you the long-term solutions. So if you want to genuinely change your life and stop procrastinating in the next three days, go and book a call right now. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.